Okay. All right. So I get the impression a lot of people are having this problem because I've been looking it up and it looks like a lot of people seem to have moved on from some of the basic rendering. You might have found a few things up front. First, as you might be using Creative Cloud 2015.5 for this version of Adobe Photoshop, you probably found a bunch of videos referencing uh, CS6 and they mentioned using the uh, 3D scene position to rotate or other things like that. Okay, you're not going to do that. In this case, what I originally had was a GIF of my logo that I actually I had commissioned a while back and then I cleaned up and made it into a pure GIF that I could then extrapolate this particular model from it. I didn't extrude if uh, there's ever an issue, I can just show how I did that. In this case, what we're going to do is cover the stupid rotating problems with this insane, crazy, dumb piece of software. So, a lot of people probably... had um, used other parasolid and uh, parastructural software where you do things like extrusions and real simple geometric functions. This was an extrusion. And there are just the three separate pieces on here, the two Fs back to back, and then the actual Welsh dragon on the top. Now, I have the malls one piece. So this will actually completely rotate. The idea is that it will rotate 360 degrees, which you'll see is much harder than it's supposed to be. So what we do is create a video timeline, um, considering how painful this process is to remove a video timeline, which I'm not sure why. Let's see if I can just get rid of it real quick. I will deal with that later. Okay. Quick things up here. You see the F? That's for frames. Okay. Down here on the bottom left, I'm at 30 frames per second. All right. So if I have 10 frames, 20 frames, 30 frames mean one second. Then another 10, another 20, two seconds. Another 10, another 20, three seconds. You're not looking at normal time divisions. I normally work with audio software this threw me off for quite a while so what we're going to do is I want to completely rotate and then have about you know uh, two seconds of pause and then rotate for a second two seconds of pause now we're gonna do a real quick cover of why this is normally a huge problem I've selected the layer now you actually see the model and all the faces show up. We're not even going to bother rotating it manually because that's just not necessary. However, I do have keyframe automation, which you see now. I have a diamond, which is now uh, selected and been created. We move the playhead. Since I wanted to rotate for one second, if I actually go to roughly 15 frames, I should be able to spin this 180. So we'll go to about there. It sits, it thinks. Now, the top right, since we are in a 3D model now, I can actually go to coordinates. The y-axis is what I'm right rotating it around. Now, most of you have probably done this already. 180, okay. You hit enter. Keyframe is now shows up there, great. You are now well on your way, and you go over to the one second mark, which most logically would then mean I just put in 360 or 0 and I should be done. Except now you see two negative 180s. Here's why. Mathematically, if you look at it in a real simple terms, anytime you see that negative, it means you're just seeing the back of the image. Okay? As soon as the back is visible, now just because I flipped it 180 doesn't mean it just started to be visible. It actually became visible at 91 degrees of rotation on the way to 180. 
if you flip it the other way around the same issue so you're actually dealing with the math of the 90 degree splits so right now if I state okay fine uh, zero was my theory but now we'll do this now you see the dragon is still backwards okay so maybe you've seen other videos go well now I should just be able to type in zero you can see it invert real quick zero now it's correct okay great I hit enter complete the keyframe great so now if I go backwards you'll see it rotate one direction then it goes back the other way this is the stupid problem everybody's running into so when you see it actually play It does this, which is insanely annoying. Now I have this loop where the idea is it'll spin around for one second, pause for two, spin around, pause for two. Okay, so now that you realize this was not what you wanted at all, what we need to do is go ahead and kill off those keyframes. You'll see references on some videos. It also seems to be more an issue with the older version where well, if you partially grab it and don't quite go to 180, then it's fine. No. Here's why. I'm already crossed over. Here's a playhead point. Let's just take a look at the graphics. Negative 48 degrees. Remember, I, I typed a positive 180. And I'm already at negative 48. What's actually happened is that at 90 degrees... Let's go ahead and try to hit 90 uh, okay, so this should be positive numbers. Wait for that to finish. Okay, top right, negative 84. It's on its way to negative 90, but positive 0, 0, or negative 0, whatever. It's just 0. I go to the next one right here. And we'll go back up to the top right once it gets done. And now it's negative 180 because the back is now visible. As you can see along the right side of the image, that's actually the back starting to show up. So, what we do is we simply go to each of these keyframes that were created. We delete them by clearing out the box in the middle. See that diamond goes away, go back. Diamond goes away, go back. The easiest way to do this is simply do it in thirds. What we're going to do is do 120 degrees, then another 120, then the final 120. So, since that's in thirds and we have 30 frames per second, that means I just go to 10 frames. Go out to here. Okay, make sure I get to... Yes. All right. Go up to the top right. Type in a number and we'll get negative 120. Enter keyframe creation. Now I go to 20. Okay, mouse off, mouse on. Just to make sure, good. So now we go up here. Now you see the negatives are already starting to show up. But what I will do. is I actually clear out some of this logic just in case. And since negative 120 plus negative 120 is negative 240. And now, go back to here. And now the actual completion would be negative 360, but zero. 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 Okay. So now we hit play. 
Ta da! That really stupid mathematical problem was just simply splitting it into thirds. You no longer have to fight with the ridiculous issue of once you cross a 90 degree sweep, you end up either seeing part of the front, part of the rear, there's a transition, and those negatives end up screwing you up. In thirds, you actually cross the 90 degree thresholds, but you never land on a 180. So you never actually land on a complete 90 degree rotation until the end, which is perfectly fine. None of those segments, you have zero, zero, zero at the beginning, zero, zero, zero at the end. And if you're wondering how the actual looping is being done, you hit stop. Let the math think for a bit. And actually under the gear, right here, where the pinwheel is derp a derp derping. <sighs> Further. Okay, stop now. Thank you. Loop playback. And that's how you get that done. Uh, next video. I'll come up with some rendering options. Right now, what I'm looking to do is do a basic GIF. I will texture it and do all that other stuff later, but I was having more an issue with the mathematics of getting it to rotate. But now you see it rotates. That's basically how it works. Uh, any questions or anything specific, just, I don't know, leave a, leave a comment. And uh, I'll see if I can complete any more... Uh, kind of quickie tutorials on this uh, for them. Thanks a lot. Faux freshness out.